So another kickboxing contest here for at under 85 kilograms. As I said earlier, I'm joined by Glaub Fetosa, 2005 K1 champion, a kickboxing legend in his own right. And we're here at Senshi 20, which this machine, this locomotive started five years ago. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary tonight. We're going from strength to strength in each and every event, and we're getting better and better. We've got world-class kickboxing, and we just saw one world-class mixed martial arts contest here in a, in a kickboxing ring, which ended with a fantastic knockout. We've had three knockouts on the trot. So what do we expect here? We've got Serbia versus the Cameroon, although Loik Nyeja is training out of Switzerland with the Gladiators fight team. So the Serbian Stosic with more experience. He's had 41 pro fights as opposed to 23 pro fights of Loik Nyeja. Nice body kick there. Nyeja, Glaub looks in fantastic shape. Yeah, sure. And his softball. Softball against an, uh, an orthodox. Yeah. That, Interesting. He's got, a, he's got a sharp right hook there over the top of the uh, left hand of the Serbian. And one thing we've said tonight, Loic, is uh, a lot of the guys are trying to rely on single shots. Um, instead of feints and setting things up with a combination and ending up with a power shot on the end of their combination. Little low blow there. Little time out. Now, Loik Nyeja from the Cameroon. He's making his Senshi debut. We've seen him walking around the hotel and at the press conference, he looked very, very confident indeed. And Stosic from uh, Serbia, he's fought here once before, so he's not unfamiliar with the surroundings. I mean, Nyeja, he's look, he looks nimble, but I'd say that the Serbian's showing more power. Nice right hand. Like's closing too much the range. Yeah, when the Serbian opens up, Nyeja, Nyeja's tying him up. But I was, I was talking about those single shots earlier, but when, when the Serbian was throwing those combinations, they're very effective. That was actually a nice left hand from uh, Loik Nyeja. Tight defense from the Serbian. Yes. But, you know, in, in, in this case, you, you need to work the body, you need to work the legs, and then you open the, you open the hand up. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much... Um, Variation, right? Not much in the way of low kicks happening in this fight. And if you're fighting a southpaw, you know, it's very difficult to lead with a jab. You sort of, you know, it's more dangerous, effective to, really to lead with a right hand. Um, but yeah, you've got to open someone up. Use combinations, angles, feints. Go downstairs with a straight right, upstairs with a left hook. Bring his hands down, open him up. Throw a combination and finish with a low kick. Finish with a low kick or middle kick or knee. I like the knee. Yeah. Well, if you were Dutch, you'd always finish with that low kick. Yes. But it's interesting how different countries, different um, cultures have got a style. Uh -huh. You know, there is a Dutch style. Yes. There is a Thai style. Yeah. Um,
Now we... Well, I didn't give a, a score on that first round, but I'll, I'll just backpedal a little bit and I'm going to give it a 10-9 to the Serbian. So here we are, round two. They felt each other's power. Some great punches there, but some, some great counter punches. There's some damage around Stosic's right eye. There's that tight defense. That nice. was nice. In and out was yeah, nice. Yeah, that was very nice. A, a, a straight, a, a right jab. He leant back, another right jab, and followed it. It was like, well, the jab count, uh, fell back and then threw a one-two. Right hand, on, uh, sorry, left hand on the end of that jumping kick, which didn't land. The middle distance is better for Foloik right now. Yeah, and that's where he's got, he's dangerous with the knee as well. <laughs> he was, that was interesting. He set that up. He timed that quite well, although uh, Loic avoided that spinning avoided. back fist. <laughs> nice head movement there from the, from the Serbian. Nice kick. Well, it's interesting if you're fighting a southpaw, if you throw a rear kick, you've got to throw it to his rear leg. So, unless you switch kick to throw a power shot to his lead leg. But that works both ways. Uh, both ways, right. Yeah. But I like middle kick and keep the, the straight busy. Always kick on, a, on yeah. the hand of the straight, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's a, a, an underused, underrated uh, technique. Oh, there's a nice flying knee. But yeah, if, you're kick, if, you, if you aim for that middle kick, you, you hit the body, it's effective. If you hit the forearms over and over again, it's also damaging. Mm -hmm. And you, your opponent's arms are going to come down. You can even break the forearm. with Your shin is, uh, is a far more powerful uh, weapon. Much more, much more. Nice training of punches. Yeah, they're throwing some leather here. At, And we've got 10 seconds, and we're into the ten, last 10 seconds of this second round, and they've both still got the ability. Hey, we see the Serbian setting up another spinning back fist. Nice. End of that second round. Well, that's a difficult one to score. Uh, I would give to like, you know? I think he looked more dangerous on that one, on the last round. In those, yeah, in those exchanges, yeah. Wow, wow, man. I mean, it's difficult. And you know, yeah, this is, is why <laughs> we've got three judges oh. on three different sides of the, of the ring. And they're going to see slightly different angles. So sometimes you'll see something from wherever you're watching and it seems like clean shots are landing. But a judge on the other side yeah. might see something slightly different. So th that's why you get a difference of, of opinion. And that's why you have three judges, to make it fair. But uh, I'll go with you on that, Glaub. So it's 10-9 apiece, a round apiece. Everything to fight for in this third. Yeah, the third will be decisive, you know? Well, unless everything is on stake now. Unless this round's a draw and then we go to a fourth, a fourth extra round. And I wouldn't be disappointed to see four rounds of, of action at this level. Um, You're right. And Loic is, I think he's, his confidence has perhaps grown. It's that double jab again. Ooh. Nice body shot. Nice knee. Stosic are, are, telling, are telling him to, he looks, he's, he's looking for that spinning technique again. They're telling him to, to uh, throw a high kick. 
But it's very difficult to, to land a high kick without setting it up as a single shot. Oh, nice right hand. Is he going to get a count? No. No, 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 no. And again. Nice. So that was that will shine in the judges' eyes. For sure. Um, oh, nice right hand there from Loic. Lost balance. Yeah, that's a combination of balance and tiredness here in the third round. We're halfway through. So plenty of time. Although you don't want to you don't want to waste any time. That's a bit cheeky under these uh, kickboxing rules. And Stosic is having some success with those straight punches. There he is again. Last minute, we're ahead of decision now. And we've said it time and time again, we don't want to leave anything in the gas tank. Nice right hand there from Loic. Another straight right there from the Serbian. But you... Yeah, nice evasive head work there, but you'd like to see him throw that right hand and then put a left hook on the end of it or something. Again, power shots. We're coming up to 10 seconds left, guys. You're going to hear the, the hammer for the last 10 seconds. Stosic there it is. is connecting. It's connecting more, Stosic. Whoa. Wow. Nice fight. Great fight. That really was a great fight. Some very powerful, damaging, hurtful techniques landed by both guys. But at the, as we went into the third round, I, was, I think it was a round apiece. But that third and final round, I will go with the blue corner, Stosic. But I'm not a judge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we could see I'm a with fourth, you. I'm, uh, we could see a fourth <laughs> round. <laughs> and it would be nice to see. It would be great, you know. yeah. And interestingly enough, look at the Serbian team. They're preparing for a fourth round. Yeah. And Loic Nyeja chilled out. He's probably ready for it. Yeah. But let's see if we've got a decision. I'm going with two rounds to one to Serbia. Nikola Stosic. He took that. It was a great fight, a great performance from both guys. Surely was. And we have the official score from the judges. Judge number one, 29 to 29. Oh. Judge number three, 29 to 30 in favor of the red corner. Judge it's number two. It's going to be a fourth two, round, Glaub. 29 to 29, it is a draw. There we go, a draw. We go. Fourth we round. round. That's what you said, you know. Well, a good coach will never let your fighter relax on, on that situation, yeah. you know. And I, I've seen it too many times. They go back to the corner after three rounds and take the gloves off. It drives me crazy. Yeah. Um, so here we go, four rounds. And this is where we sort out the men from the boys. Wow, because let's because go. you don't want to leave anything in the tank. So you might have given it everything after three rounds, and then you've got to come back after four and fight four rounds. And look, they're going for it now. Great body shot from Lloyd Nyaya. Oh, lovely right hand nice. from the Serbian. Nice knee. That wasn't low. 
I don't think that was a low blow. I didn't see, eh? Well, very difficult for the referee to assess that. I'd like to see a quick replay, yeah. but that to me landed just above the shorts. But one thing Nikola Stosic has to realize now is if he's using it as an opportunity to rest, then Loik Nyaya is also having time to rest. Nice kick. A nice kick. Well, great punches Loic. there from Nyaya, and Loik Nyaya looks the hungrier he's of the two. Throwing bombs, throwing bombs. And... Stosic is tired. Yeah. He's going to get oh, finished if he's not careful. He took a big right hand there. He took one to the body, which hurt him. He's taking a count. Lloyd Nyaya is going to smell blood. Forget the last three rounds and the score there. That's a it's, new fight. It's all on this round, and there's just under two minutes left. Nyaya is going to smell blood. He's going to go to the body again, I'm sure. Now. Well, he's, Stosic is taking punishment, and I don't think he's fully recovered as well as being exhausted. And two left hands there from Nyaya. Another left hand. The referee, they've thrown in the towel. Well, the referee hasn't seen it. He's taken another count. But the Serbian Stosic team have thrown in the towel. They've finished the fight, which, well, yeah. It's a TKO there, he's counted him out. And that was fantastic there for a performance in that fourth round from Nyaya. He came powerful for the last round, this fourth round, to keep that pace, keep wow. that rhythm, and keep that, that power. Yeah. Well, he, he upped the pace. Yeah. And I think, uh, although he's experienced, that must tell him something, that he had more in the tank than he realized. Yeah. Um, and hard fights, when you get taken into deep water, it's, I don't think, um, tough times build character. I think they reveal it. Yeah. So you've got it in you, but you don't know. And that was a fine example there. Um, the Serbian, he's a great fighter. He, he looked more powerful. He fought bravely. He fought bravely. But I think Since the beginning. Nyaya won that fight because of his mental attitude mm. and his heart. Um, wow. I agree 100%, my friend. Glaub, it was a pleasure. Big pleasure to me. Commentating with you. Us. Um, yep, us. And I'll see you again sometime. See you again soon. Mine's a gin and tonic at the bar afterwards. <laughs> so there we go, Glaub. Glaub Fetosa leaves me from the commentary team.